John, you mentioned there's three prongs of the treatment. What are the three prongs? So the first prong is diet. That's one of the big things because most of the diet is what causes the trouble. So you look for things like gas producing foods. What are some gas producing foods? So gas producing foods? foods would be things like beans, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. Very healthy, very good for you, but very bad if you have the IBS syndrome because of that sensitivity that's in there. You look for milk products to try to avoid because most people with IBS are also lactose intolerant. And you look for carbonated beverages because sometimes that, just the gas of drinking those, if you don't burp it out, it has to go all the way through. And then the fructose sugar in soft drinks can sometimes cause trouble. So you look at the diet to take away the triggers in the gas producing foods, milk products and carbonated beverages. The second thing is you got to get the bowels better regulated. If they're constipated, to try to get them moving better. And if they're too loose, to try to get them to slow down some. So let's go with the constipated person. I, that, I think that's the three prongs, eating properly, and then we're going to attack constipation type of IBS, and then the diarrhea. Is that right? Well, the, so the first thing is diet. The second thing is getting the bowels Regular. moving better. But the third one would be a rescue that they can use when they really need something to help them through to take away the fear that something may happen when they're out or they're with a friend. Um, so guide me through that. What are, what well, are the those rescues, rescues? The rescues would be one, something that you can put underneath your tongue Really? called Levsin or Hyoscyamine. It is a anti-spasmodic that works to just calm the belly down. The second thing we use is something called Imodium, very common, you can buy it over the counter and it can just slow things down or give you a little bit of assurance that things aren't gonna move well. And the third thing is something new over the past year. It's a, a peppermint oil in a pill. We know that peppermint oil is a very soothing medicine, and there's something called IB Guard, Guard Against IBS, Irritable Bowel Syndrome. And it's very safe. You can buy it over the counter.